Welcome to the VMware vSphere 6.0 product demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate creating a content library. The content library is a new feature added to vSphere 6.0 that enables the vSphere administrator to store and manage content such as virtual machine templates, vApps, ISO images, and scripts in a centralized location that can be easily shared and automatically distributed across the organization. Let us begin the demo. In our demo environment, we have two vCenter servers. One is located in Palo Alto, California, and the other is located in Austin, Texas. We will create a new content library located in the Palo Alto Data Center. We start at the vSphere Web Client home screen and click on the vCenter Inventory Lists icon. From the navigation pane on the left, click on Content Libraries. Click on the Create New Content Library icon Select the vCenter server where you wish to create the library. In this example, we are creating the library in the Palo Alto vCenter server, MDM VPX003. Assign a name for the content library and click on Next. Select the type of library you wish to create. We have the option to create a local library or to subscribe to a published library. In this case, we will create a local library. We also have the ability to publish the local library externally. We skip it in this example and click on Next. On the Add Storage screen, choose the location to store the content library content. A content library storage location can be a local volume on the vCenter server, an NFS shared storage, or a data store mounted to an ESX host. We will choose the data store VMFS for this demo. Click on Next, review the settings, and click on Finish. We can monitor the progress on the Recent Tasks column. When the content library has been created, we see it listed in the Content Libraries window. This concludes the demonstration on how to create a content library. Thank you.